JROTC's Raiders is one of the most physically and mentally demanding competitions, and the pinnacle of this competitiveness is found at the state championship. West Broward's team has had the success at the county level, winning the championship six times, but with their last state's victory coming in 2014, their desire for another title is greater than ever before. You know, becoming a state champion is very important. We don't set our sights on becoming a runner-up or third or fourth place. Our season would not be considered a success unless we win a state championship. You know, a lot of schools don't like us because, you know, we, we beat them every time. And states is like the only time that we get beat by this one school, Sarasota. So we try every year harder and harder to beat that. And every year we get closer. So if, that, if we win, we get a state ring and it just means we're on top. For months, West Broward's Raider team has been preparing to win a state title. Despite placing second last year, their aspiration has remained prevalent throughout the season. To prepare for states, I'm training with the Raider team, of course, five, five times a week, maybe even six times a week. Um, when I have the chance, I even train on my own, I run on my own, or I'll just do things that can help me outside of Raiders and also in Raiders with my team. Many of the athletes have been a part of the team for multiple years, but have been unable to grasp a championship of their own. For senior Raiders, winning their first and only state championship would be an especially momentous achievement. To compete at States for my last year would mean the world to me. Just because for the past four years we've worked really hard and during my freshman year I couldn't even make the male one team and compete at that States level. So to compete at my last year, I get to prove myself, prove that I'm worth on this team. And it shows that I, su I can succeed at everything I want to succeed at in life. With all the hard work they've been putting in, a state championship seems inevitable. For WBTV, this has been Sebastian Ybarra reporting.